to the Fort Lauderdale Just Video Walls headquarters. It's been a minute since we've given you a tour of what we have going on in here, but I wanted to do that again for you because we've made so many changes in this showroom just to show you what we're capable of doing with micro LED in all sorts of different applications. First, this wall here is the same 16 by nine, 163 inch video wall that we had previously. But what's different is what's surrounding this wall. And as, as you can see, we've got this really beautiful slat wall around this wall so that it's flush mounted in. We're following the lead of actually a lot of our dealers here who have taken this and been able to deploy a system that duplicates the background and gives it sort of a camouflage mode. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but from the eye, when you walk in, this looks so realistic. Um, and this could be obviously a camouflage mode. It could also be art in something like this. But whenever you turn your video wall off, it becomes an architectural piece or it hides completely out of the way. And then of course, when you're ready to actually watch something at the touch of a button, you can bring that in and you can see <laughs> where we've got this great movie, Ford versus Ferrari coming in on our Kaleidoscape. Now, another thing that's fun about video walls is the fact that we don't actually just have to have a single input. We can have three or four different inputs coming in at the same time. We can change each of those presets to have different inputs coming in. So like right now we have a Kaleidoscape here. We have an Apple TV here. And I actually just changed this input, this source to be an Apple TV. And you can see that's processing in. So that's gonna come in, assign all this, the color settings correctly. And by the way, when we make those transitions, we can have them do a nice smooth fade rather than seeing the processor go through all of its you know, source work to align that properly to the video wall. Um, but as you can see here, this is just a really cool display, a way that you can set up multiple sources at the same time on a 16 by nine wall. Now, the glaring problem now is we've got this Kaleidoscape with 240 content coming in at the top but it's got the black bars because it's not fully utilizing the space up there. And so the question is, how do we handle that? Well, in our control system that we've uh, built and designed and programmed, we actually have a button that allows us to change the aspect ratio of a source. So when I click it, you can see that we, actually, we eliminated those black bars on the top and the bottom. And now we're running at a native 240 aspect ratio, exactly what's coming in from the Kaleidoscape source. And just for fun, we can do that again. And my personal favorite is to just go crazy and have a huge 32 by nine, uh, it's fully encompassing the top canvas of that wall, specifically for this preset. Now, of course, we can do all sorts of other fun things on this. Like we can have, you know, a fun background image with a picture in picture, right? So we could bring in those slap bars in the back and actually have those still camouflage while bringing in a source like this, like a piece of art potentially, or some other kind of source. We could have this a different shape. We could have three of these all aligned. The sky is the limit. The only limit is your creativity. And that's what we love so much about video walls. Some technical specifications of this wall. This is a 163 inch diagonal, 600 nits. It's a fully matte finished surface. So we're not seeing any of the walls. We're not seeing a reflection of anybody in the room right now. This is just basically totally unadulterated content coming out of the wall straight into your eyes. Um, so this is a really fun application if you have multiple TV like sources or movies that you wanna watch. But another application that's be become really popular with the advent of our micro LED TV is art. And so I'm gonna walk you over here to this corner of the showroom. Hi Mona. So this is showing a, what I would say is a, consider a smaller display technically, but you don't see TVs in this aspect ratio. Uh, this is sort of an off aspect ratio. It's more of a square shape. It's not perfectly square, but it's definitely not what you're used to seeing. Um, and so like stained glass on a video wall like this for art actually looks like stained glass in the room because it's emitting light. Now we have the brightness stopped down on this to like 25% but you still get the effect. And obviously as the homeowner, you can control that and set that to whatever level you want, depending upon what you're watching. So a great use case here could be having a stereo set of hi-fi audio speakers 
with a Spotify source and you can see your album art. You know, there's just so many ways that these things can be used. Art is just one of them. This can be in your living room, in your main area. You can show off your family photos from your last vacation. So what we're showing here is a native CinemaScope 240 aspect ratio. So we actually don't have, you know, a lot of the height that we would normally have in a 16 by nine. We've cropped the canvas down to a 240 native aspect ratio. So rather than, you know, bringing in a 16 nine square or trying to take, you know, like a movie and scale it down and try and fit it within a 16 nine canvas, we said, why don't we just make the canvas itself 240? And again, we don't have this in, a, in an environment where it's a fully dedicated dark room. Now we could, because we have full brightness control, but we wanted to show what it would look like to have an awesome pair of speakers, thank you Steinway Lingdorf, and a seating position relatively close to the screen with a 240 aspect ratio. So when you're watching your movies, you just really get that incredible cool experience without having to go hide in a room for a while. This is a very tight pixel pitch on this wall. This is a 0.7, which means that it's 0.7 millimeters from the center of the LED to the next LED adjacent to it. So that is about the tightest that we can get uh, in a repeatable and reliable fashion in this industry today. And so we wanted to show what that would look like in our environment here with the native 240, because it's just another way that micro LED can be experienced. Uh, last time we showed our mirror wall, which is a fun approach to taking micro LED again and bringing it into all sorts of different applications. Right now, uh, we just have a portion of the wall illuminated. So you're seeing just the top half really, but we could go corner to corner, edge to edge with a little bit of margin on the side with our LED behind it. So think about, you know, waking up, going into your closet and seeing your calendar every morning, right? That's, that's possible here. Or maybe you have a yoga studio or a workout facility that you want to have something behind this so you can duplicate it and mirror it um, or just completely turn it off. You can see when it's off, it just turns into a normal mirror, right? So it's just a, a regular mirror, except for when you have it on. You can also bring in all the other sources that we've been talking about, like the Kaleidoscape and the Apple TV. Um, so this, again, only possible with micro LED in sizes of this fashion. This is what's really cool about micro LED. Now, my favorite, favorite, favorite way, as we talked uh, in our previous video, to do <laughs> micro LED is to just have like a stupidly large display. This is a pretty big display. We've done a lot bigger, um, but we wanted to give the, our customers who come through the feeling of where micro LED can take them and the scale of it. And obviously this is not a normal aspect ratio. This is a 32 by nine. So your 16.9 is here, that way. And then you have another 16.9 here, that way. These are not actual bezels, right? We're not taking LCD TVs and mounting each of those LCD TVs on the wall. These are totally unique inputs that are coming into a single canvas. So the best way I can illustrate that is by switching this to a fully seamless display. Now we've just expanded that to fill the entire canvas of this wall. Um, and again, I'll repeat, because micro LED is not impacted by light the same way as traditional large format displays like projection or some of the things that we're used to, the blacks here, like in the hair, are just super black. There's just no real ambient light issues with this technology. Um, but we're also getting, you know, the colors from all of these different things. Like this scene is a little darker, so there's not as much color in it, but you can see what color there is in it. We're actually producing that straight from the LEDs, just like you're used to with an OLED display. Um, we have up to eight inputs on this particular setup, but we can do almost an unlimited number of inputs on our processing systems. And I have complete control over each of these layers. So if I want this Kaleidoscape, to be over here on this on this one or on this one all i have to do is basically just select that and assign it to this layer here and you can see that the kaleidoscape source automatically updates and now i've got that source coming in when i can also change that one we could have four different sports feeds on this side 
and a single large 16.9 on this side with one sports feed or a video game or a movie, whatever it is that you want. Like it is the ultimate NFL sports viewing display that you can get in the market today. There is nothing that compares to what we can do with micro LED. Um, so we're just like super happy to have the ability to do this for our customers because it represents a totally new way to get an experience like you've never experienced before. We also have our outdoor walls. We have a few different types of outdoors. So this one has a little bit lower native contrast, which is why the blacks aren't as black as what you're used to seeing. Um, but if you look at this panel down here, you can see the black levels of this are actually quite a lot darker. So it really depends on your application and what it is that we're trying to do for you. But um, that's where our integrators come in and they help you, the homeowner, really learn and specify exactly what you need for your specific installation for your home or your business. Like it is the right wall for you. Um, and that's really like, the difference that I would say about just video walls, like we are not here to just perform a whole bunch of transactions. Right? That is at our core, not who we wanna be. That's not why we were founded. We were founded because this technology requires a lot of effort to get right. Like you can't just, you know, willy nilly go about, oh, well, I've got this technology that I've bought from some source somewhere. Like there's so many ways that it can go wrong and it really requires someone who knows how to control it, someone who knows how to set it up with the right inputs, someone who knows how to set it up with the right audio. Like it has to be done and cared for by a professional. And that's why we have, have created this company in the way that we have. We've set it up so that professionals have access to this in the right way and they get it right for you, the homeowner. And so we just have, we've planted our flag on that really strongly and we are unapologetic about that. Um, so you'll see in some of our other videos about the way that we do things and why, and there's a very specific reason for all of that because there's so many ways it can go wrong and we will not allow that to happen for you, the homeowner or the business owner. So if any of this sounds interesting to you or you wanna know more, you should definitely check us out at justvideowalls.com and we'd love to talk to you about how we can create an awesome experience like this for you.